this is a price action analyst welcome to my youtube channel um i wanted to do a i guess a portfolio update it can never really be a model portfolio update um because you know there's around 25 cryptocurrencies in my model portfolio um but i just want to talk about um some of the coins that are in that, um, some that are in a buy recommendation or have a buy recommendation and some that have late buy recommendations, which means they've already started to move. Um, and previous ones that have been moved to hold recommendations. So that's, that's basically how my portfolio is structured. So what I've done is I've gone and researched, um, I've looked at all the cryptocurrencies that are listed on Coinigi and I've gone through and identified those cryptocurrencies which I think are uptrending relative to Bitcoin. And so, you know, there's probably a couple of other of caveats as well, but they those cryptocurrencies then go into my model portfolio. So within my model portfolio universe, and again that's updated probably um well every weekend. Um but so every weekend I'm looking for, you know, other cryptocurrencies that have started appreciating to Bitcoin. Those will move into the model portfolio. And then if cryptocurrencies within the model portfolio start downtrending relative to Bitcoin, so that is like a, you know, that's not just a down movement. That's actually start a downtrend relative to Bitcoin. They would be taken out of the model portfolio. Um, so within the model portfolio, that the model portfolio kind of emulates um, cryptocurrencies that you would want to hold. It's not buy all of these cryptocurrencies. It's just here's a universe of cryptocurrencies that are appreciating relative to Bitcoin. And within that universe, uh, a buy recommendation would be, all right, this is what I've identified here as an ideal entry for this cryptocurrency. And basically what that means is I think that the cryptocurrency is going to make a move up from here. Um, so you know, what that means is that you're creating a portfolio um, and you're getting into coins at points after which they appreciate in price. Um, so, you know, I'm, that's um, valuable because the alternative to that is buying stuff and having the prices go against you. Uh, you know, you're not waiting you're not waiting four or five years for stuff to start going up in price. We're kind of, I'm hopefully trying to offer you a service where I'm saying, all right, if this has a buy recommendation on it, it's about to go up in price. And um, I've generally been quite successful at doing that. Um, I mean, if you don't have access to my spreadsheet, you can't really tell, but I have a marker on it that tells me, you know, the ones that are on a hold recommendation, are they on a hold recommendation because they were successful by recommendations? Uh, and most of them have uh, have the marker against them. So and what that means is that it had a buy recommendation on it and possibly a late buy recommendation on it as price started to move, and then it has a hold recommendation, which basically means, all right, you're holding the coin now. It's too late to buy more of it because the price has gone up. Um, so this is Cardano. This is currently a buy. This currently has a buy recommendation on it. Um, and I want to go through a few, so I don't want to make the analysis too detailed, but the orange-brown lines are support and resistance. <clears throat> um, so I haven't marked it in, but you could you could argue that there's some sort of level around here. So price has made two significant legs up. There's been spikes in volume, so this is definitely in an uptrend relative to Bitcoin. And we've seen it try to make new highs here. And then this was a deep retrace. And that was about the time that Bitcoin was appreciating too. Um, so no real high was challenged there. But it did leave a wick and it's retraced. And so ultimately my expectation is, you know, whether this support level holds and we get another leg up or even if it cycles down to this support level. But I think eventually we are going to get another leg up. This uptrend will continue. Um, so, you know, 
as as it retraces i'm watching the wicks here and where all the buying support is and then you know that buying support was shallow support uh you've had substantial buying there but eventually it's come back down and and wash support and left a big wick so <clears throat> that you know that large wick there at support and you know off that level of air there as well you can see it's kind of held um you know it's looking to me like cardano will soon you know show a buying bar you know anywhere within this wick is basically a buying opportunity and also you know this down trend is i've framed up with lines here um and so it's now you know tracing a lot of along the top trend line which is a bullish sign too so i'm expecting buying support here so much that i have a buy recommendation on this so this is now the hourly chart um let's have a look at this again so your green lines are that wick and then if we go into the hourly chart that's the wick there um, here's the top trend line so you know normally you can wait for price to push out of the the inside support is the blue line and retest and hit that long but also if you are brave enough you can try to hit the washes of the pivots and so you know these are pivot washes and pivots and you can see when the pivot is washed you know this liquidity pocket results in a big surge of buying here um, and so given where this wick is at support and you know that it's washed these other pivots I would expect this to hold and so you know if price gets back here my ideal zone would be here so you can see when price has come in there it's come in there very briefly um, <coughs> excuse me so if we switch to the bars so you know it's you've got buying support it's making pockets of air there and so this is all acting as support so you know if I was short-term trading I would almost be long here preemptively of this buying surge that I think will come and any breakout of these kind of consolidations is an indication that price has started to move so you know if over the next couple of days if you see a buying bar and it shoots out of there that's probably the beginning of the move and again, this is hourly bars, but that's what the start of the move will look like. This is exactly what I want to see or I'm expecting to see at support prior to a move. So anyways, I don't want to get too deep into it, but that is Cardano. It's a, it has a buy recommendation on it. Um, the other one I wanted to look at was Elrond, ERD. And just... Uh, you know, I would just point out too, you know, I do all the analysis in um, Bitcoin pair, but you can see as Cardano has been downtrending relative to Bitcoin, its dollar price hasn't moved very much. And also this consolidation pattern here after these legs up is also indicative that we're going to get another breakout to the upside here. Again, I don't do my analysis in that. But it's just some. If you're new to this, the ADA in Bitcoin looks like you know you've had quite a fall off here. Yeah, it's relative to Bitcoin, but if you're looking at your portfolio, it, Cardano hasn't really been negatively affecting it while this has been going on. And so when when you get the push up on the Bitcoin pair, expect the ADA price to run too. Um, so this is Elrond. And again, we've got support and resistance lines here. So uh, it's come from resistance. It's washed support quite deeply. And this wick was indicative that this area was going to be significant. So, you know, this is probably my ideal entry here area. And you can see when price, when price is coming down into here, it's not spending very long here. So, you know, the buying support is there. And it's it's there until you see red bars push past this. Then then that area is done. But um, this is 
likely to make a move here too. This blue line is inside support. I don't I don't want to get into what that means in here, but basically, you know, if price can push inside and hold inside support, it's also a positive sign. So we've got our green line as our ideal zone. We've got inside support. So, you know, I'm basically looking for price to hold inside support and it's trying its best to, to, you know, stay outside, but all we, you know, eventually you're going to see buying support that is going to come in. It's going to leave air and it's going to retrace and it's either going to retrace to the trend line or inside support or the air and push up again. And then that's almost certainly, um, your indicator that price is going to go and I mean that's happened a few times you've got it here and there's the retrace nothing happened you've got it here and there's air and there's a retrace you got the buying bar but you know any minute now you could see that big buying bar and then that's the start of the move so you know if we're wrong you'll see big selling bars that are closing on their low and they'll just push past here. But the thing is, this level of support will is going to offer support, right? It's going to be very hard for it to push past this. So even if we do fall out here, I think, you know, the risk is relatively minimal, you know, that's the next big level of support here. But my expectation now is for price to push up out of here, you know, and it, it's going to be you know, I think eventually when this pops, you will get a strong move and you'll probably get some sort of retrace and price will push out of here. That's my expectation. So Alrond is in that model portfolio with a buy recommendation. Um, you know, you could either buy it in this zone, you can wait for that big push up and the retrace of this trend line or just wait for the big blue bar and the daily bar and then buy it. But I think you can also buy it here. You know, again, there's not, I don't see a whole lot of risk in Elrond. Um, so I just want to move now to um, this is LISK, LSK. So this is in the model portfolio. Um, this has a late buy on it, but um, when I do the analysis, this will be moved to a hold. So LISC had a buy recommendation somewhere down here. I believe I caught it before this, the buy recommendation was in before this substantial blue bar. So it's what, it's roughly what I'm looking at with ADA and Elrond. Um, this support level, these wicks, um, break out of, of the trend line and then another retest of support and it might've washed this pivot that was one even no so it didn't wash but it got rejected and then there's your substantial buying so this is all we're really waiting for with ADA and Elrond and so this is pushed up here um, I think I might have put another buy recommendation because this looks so obvious that this was gonna push higher which it has but now LISC would just become a hold um, it's probably gonna retrace a little bit but you know maximum retrace is probably around this green line here off the air um, but i expect that now to push up and it's in the context of this very big leg at the start it's been consolidating for a long time and so i think it's due for another big move and then you've got the volume fee starting to feed into it as well and look at you know you got those volume spikes early on before you got the big pushes and elron so um, hopefully that goes i i'm i think that will but this is what a buy recommendation to a late buy to a hold looks like in my model portfolio. So, you know, if, if it interests you to be getting into cryptocurrencies down here when they're about to do this, then um, you might want to consider subscribing. Uh, I'll show you another. This is a late buy. So same sort of thing here. Um, big push up consolidation, false break, it's come back inside. Um, and then you've got this consolidation along support and then you can start framing it up with these trend lines. And then it starts to leave these wicks here and you can, the blue line is uh, inside support. It's kind of like another level of support, which, you know, it's trying to break, but as it comes into this 
this wick here it just that wick will always you know you're looking for that in the right place and price pushed up and that was your sign that price was going to push away so um you know the buy recommendation was hopefully in here somewhere and this is the thing you know i've done a lot of when i was learning how to trade um i'm not saying i'm finished learning but you know i remember reading you know there's books just on uh um candlesticks you know buy that candlestick it really matters where that candlestick happens right like if this candlestick happens most of the time this candlestick happens it's largely irrelevant but it becomes relevant in the right context right this support line tries price is trying to push lower boom and i'm framing up inside support that looks like inside support's going to hold now you know that candle becomes very meaningful right there as does this buying bar but you know this buying bar up here not so much right like all right price pushed up and wicks and came back inside but this buying bar here with the, in the context of that all of a sudden becomes very meaningful it becomes very indicative of what's about to happen especially now you've got this trend line it's pushing in the trend line and this it'll always retrace a bit but you know my expectation here is that so um anyways that was omg and then we've had some other ones that are on hold band we were lucky to catch um i have cardano on erd i wasn't lucky enough to get into band so you know my priority now is doing the spreadsheet and giving these recommendations and and i i always don't i don't always have more um capital to invest but you know band was a buy recommendation down here for the subscribers so that i did have subscribers that caught band and that was four it's now up to 12 it got as high as 15 so and i i i'm i i'm not predicting that you know i'm predicting a move up i don't know what the move up is going to look like you know then you know that's just i can you know i can give you a buy recommendation down here when i see that that's the last indication it's going to move but i i have no indication you know i don't believe well i maybe there are some people out there that can predict that i've never seen anyone that can predict that the best i can do is project the length of the move you know from that low so my i would have said that it's going to get to at least call it eight but you know i've that's just the rest is just uh, gravy, I guess, if you want to call it that, or icing on the cake or whatever. Um, so there, you know, there's an element of luck with that. But the what what I know for certain is that the subscribers were privy to a buy recommendation down here. So, and again, all all we're doing is identifying stuff that is uptrending, right? And when I get that push here, I expect roughly a fifty percent retracement, and I'm watching to see what happens. And so. You know, if we go down to the hourly bar, which is how I make these. Um, let me just try and find the same. So we're looking at about the beginning of August. Okay, so that breakouts in this area here. And so this is, this is what I'm looking at with the buy recommendations. I'm watching price come down to support here. This is the giveaway here. Price comes down to support. You get a selling bar. There's, there's substantial buying. Now it'll come up and it'll always retrace, right? But I'm watching to see what happens off that retrace. And so this here is substantial strength off of retrace. So prices at, at support, this failed retrace with strength off it becomes a major indicator that that's, your, that's gonna be your low. So you can buy that here. See, look what happens when price comes into that level. 
so that was kind of your last chance it never fully it never fully um closed all the air there it tried to but you know there was so in so much strength there so that was indicative of the move right but this is this is how i'm giving that buy recommendation off of that you know this is the 20 27th of the 7th So right, right, that's saying that's still in the red candle, but right about there, I'm, I'm giving a buy recommendation, right? That's where the green line is. So there's your retest of that, uh, of that air that didn't quite close the gap, but it was, you know, so violently rejected. So that daily bar, that's kind of now becoming fairly obvious that price is going to push away. That's your last chance. And, you know, you could say, well, why didn't you buy there? Well, it worked with Ben, but most of the time, if you're buying there, it's way too late. Price is going to retrace. It's going to test your entry. For the people that don't have good trading psychology, they're going to be selling out here. They're going to be losing money. And when it pushes ahead again, they're going to be buying up here. So, you know, this, this is low probability here past, you know, the projected high. This doesn't happen very often. So, um, you know, it's, most of them are going to push up after the buy recommendation, but very few are going to push like that. And so this up here, while we're here, this is indicative of strength too, right? Big push up, big wick, big rejection of the push down. It's tried again, substantial buying, small retrace bars. So band probably very soon will make another leg up. Anyways, projecting Ban's next breakout was not the point of this video, but I can't help myself. You know, that, this wick here, this wick is gonna, you know, that's major support for the price action. Look, as it comes to try to come down here, look here, now you got air to, you know, so there's every indication now. And price, look as price tries to push down here, look at the wicks, substantial strength again. And now it's finally got down here. And how long has it lasted down here? Bang, strength, strength. Now it's consolidating again. So it it's not going to be very long before Ben makes another leg up. So that looks very strong. Anyways, we'll move on because that was not the point of this video. Uh, and we'll just do the last one here. This is Cosmos. Uh, the code is Adam. This is now a hold. So this was similar to Band. So big push out of this, you know, this has been consolidating for quite a while in this downtrend. Here's your previous strength. And again, there's no real difference between daily bars and hourly bars. You know, here, this low, big strength off this low. And so price hasn't really got down here, but, you know, these retraces that were pushed off that created support, you know, it's held for a long time. Price has come down here in a downtrend, and then it's finally pushed out of here. Big move up, big volume spike. And this retrace was more than 50%, but all right, I didn't see any substantial buying here, but I'm still waiting for it. I know eventually it's going to print in. And so the buy recommendation, I think, was where this arrow is here, somewhere in there. And again, that wick's an obvious, a giveaway, right? That this is going to push up. You've come deep as support. You're getting close to the air here. So here's the start of your buying. So people that are subscribing to my service are getting buy recommendations for things like these down here. You know, most people, especially people that are new, are buying this stuff up here. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can. But I, you know, that, that to me is a far more beneficial strategy than buying it up here. And this is what's happened. These people are seeing these blue bars, they're buying and they're almost automat almost right away. The next day they're getting squeezed on their prices, right? They're buying at five, 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 four. Now they're losing money. And the you know, I see a lot of beginners, they're trading this stuff. Oh, I'm losing money, I'm selling. I'm selling until they're all all out. And then the smart people are buying again and it pushes up. So it's the same thing over and over. Um but that one obviously is now a hold within the model portfolio. So if I see another, 
price doesn't need to come back here to get another entry. It's just when it pushes up and comes back and retraces to an ideal level and, and does the right thing, I'll get another buy recommendation for, you know, if you want to buy more of it, it's another good place to be getting involved in the cryptocurrency. So um, hopefully that is helpful. Um, I am trying to market my service. I think it's helpful. I think it's a smart way to build a portfolio. Why get into positions that are losing money? I think it's better to um, get into positions at good prices. And also, you know, I'm in ERD, but a lot of these things that I haven't got into because I'm, I've been doing the analysis and doing the spreadsheets, which takes me, you know, hours a day. It's the subscribers that get to see it and utilize it. I've kind of don't have the time to do it so um it's kind of my first priority is getting the analysis right and getting it out so if that's something that interests you please shoot me an email it's the price action analyst at gmail.com all the information is in the description um section of my videos please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video thank you